suicide. That's who I was. I was an unstoppable force in professional wrestling. The crowd, they loved me, and I steamrolled over anyone that stood in my way for the belt. <laughs> Rival trademark finale. The DOA. A finisher so lethal that no one's ever gotten up from it. No one. TNA had no choice but to give me a title shot. I earned it. Then, backstage politics reared its ugly head. You think you got a title shot, huh? Well, back up, son. Guess again. This is how it's going down, Trump. It's real simple. The big man says you're going to take a dive. So that's what you're gonna do. Take a dive. Got it? Take it easy, guys. All right, I'll do it. Screw that. There's no way I'm taking a dive on this title shot, especially on national television. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion. I destroyed him. The crowd went wild, and I was on top of the world. Man, that was the greatest moment of my life. But this next moment, uh, not so much. We told you lay down for this match, but you did. Now you don't got no choice, Papa. And then it got really bad. So I wake up in this rat hole. Not knowing where I was, how I got here, or worst of all, who I was. All I know is my face feels like hamburger. Ah, see, si. he is awake. Es un milagro. You must have angels that watch over you, senor. Y you shouldn't even be alive. Senor, don't worry. We are going to help you. Ah, I hate this pro bono crapola. Shh. Stop it, estupido. Shouldn't be alive. Help me. Help me with what? What happened to me? So here's what I've been told. Apparently, I was beaten to a pulp, and my lifeless body was left for dead in some dark alley in Tijuana. I was pounded so badly that nearly half the bones in my body were broken, and my face was demolished beyond recognition. But these doctors are actually plastic surgeons and are offering to reconstruct my face into something that, um, won't scare the children, so they say. I'm not really sure why they're doing this for me, or what pro bono means. I'm just grateful that they are. Anyway, let's see what they can do. Well, welcome to TNA Impact Story Mode. I'm Impact, playing TNA Impact, so you're gonna see the game that gave me my name. Well... First, we gotta create whoever suicide is under the map. First, we gotta go. Ha, fine. We go. You know what? I'm gonna skip creating the guy, and we'll see you in a bit. So, yeah. And we're back. TJ Storm, I was right. So, give me a m And, there we go. Alright. Let's continue. Well, I've got a new look, but I still don't know who I am or how I got here. 
All I know is that I have this overwhelming urge to slam people into a mat. So either I'm a wrestler, or I have anger management issues. Either case, for now, I just want to work off my coma-induced atrophy, relearn whatever skills I have, and make enough money to live. To avoid being thrown into prison, I decided to take my aggressions out in a wrestling ring. There happened to be a local wrestling competition in town, so I joined up. They put me in their special gauntlet match. Something felt right about that. And Shinji's voice acting has aged very poor. Uh, let's continue this. Wow, this place is a piece of work. <laughs> What's with the chickens? So anyway, here's the deal. This is a gauntlet match. When you win against one, oh, the comes textures. in to take his place. Now, for whatever reason, <laughs> part of the gimmick is that if you win a gauntlet match, they shower you with pesos and send you to America for an international match at a real United States military base. Some kind of wrestling mock war of nations, I guess. Yeah, something definitely feels right about this. To be honest, this looks better than a year W show. And this game really does still hold, hold up in the graphic department. El Grosso. Hey man, I should fuck up on the camera. Oh, what happened to the tattoo? So good at the end of the video. Oh yeah, that's right. Tattoos in the game. <laughs> yeah, it's awful. Oh. What the fuck is that? Come on, you trash bag backyard widget or I just wore him what I wore to the show. Looks like a, mo a knockoff raven. Dude, the gimmick is supposed to let me win. I'm the American. Huh? Game still hold job versus 2K17 on next gen. Yeah, but this game got a little more work for the sequel got made. We'll probably be playing TNA 2017. <laughs> that was the worst living stunt. <laughs> My memory serves me, it's gonna be Yabba in a purple jumpsuit. Come on. 
Come on, come on, come on, load, 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 damn it. Oh, that hit the um I can't think of a little like person or night wolf. The jo wait the job was midway came up with it. We could have put in again like what's the we could have put in some TNA job. Okay, this game was in development for 2006 to 2008. This game came out in September 2008. We were good enough to draft it. We could have put in Consequences Creed, I think. We could have put in... Who else? They could have put in Ink Ink. I think they were on the time. They could have put in... We, they put in the announcer for Chris I know Chris... Chris Harris was gonna be in the game, but he, I think he got fired on early 2008, so he was removed from the game. No, wait, could have been that. Early, the textures are still on the desk. So. Really, the roster was fine, but they had so many TNA guys to put in. Like, PD Williams, the DLC, for Christ's sake. I would have paid for a Team Canada skin pack. Hmm. I think that this game is eight years old. Eight years old now? Nine years? I remember playing this game the day it came out. Oh. This is the worst match. Really? You missed an arm drag? That's right, he doesn't pin on this move. Like every other finish in this game pins. And that's it. Sparster. So, who is the final man in this gauntlet? Of the subterranean Lucha. <laughs> For the gift of the gods. Oh, a very great opportunity. Hmm. What? I do not need them. When they- Oh, I- Uh... Rage- Puerto Rican Rage of Ramon, I'm guessing? Uh, really? Team Better Create a Less Religion on Community Creation. And this- Seriously. If these one, if these came, if Midway created these guys, I would have moved with TNA's job, which would have been in there. Jeez, you each better fight Afro Thunder. The grapple cheese. Nope. Cheese. Uh, okay. Really? No shell drop back. That blocking is gonna help you. Oh, it did help. 
Let's try and win this by some minutes. B B B B A Y B A F L. That is no damage. Okay, this dude is trying to. Off the ropes. Oh, come on! Come on out that Ucha. We are in Mexico. Wait. Come on. Come on. Gonna eat the drop kick. Gonna be feel the best. I'm dragging to the DLA. This match would not. Which almost minus five stars. Wait, wait, how the hell would you do that in real life? Well, if the Canadian destroyer could be done, but it's over. And we have beaten Mexico. What are we? Whoever we get to And we get back to the state and get some tattoos on the Continue this. Actually, I'm gonna end this right here. After then. Actually, no, I. Ah! Okay, I will steal it. Not exactly a regal way for the King of the Gauntlet to travel, but it's better than nothing. I'll take a free trip to the States any day. Take this. Well, welcome to. Welcome Indy Fed 2447. Hey boy, why do you have a big black smudge on oh, your highness. <laughs> So you're the Mexican king of the gauntlet? I feel so hey. honored to be the king of the to go. <laughs> so you're that jobber from Tijuana who won a chance to get his butt beat here tonight, huh? What a joke. Yeah, <laughs> funny. Can you just point me to the locker room? Your throne's over there, your highness. That's a bathroom. <laughs> Good one. I already feel the love. Ugh. 